What the hell was that? <laughs> Okay, we are back folks and we have one question on our mind. Who and what is Crater? I don't know. It's Crater? Who's Crater? <laughs> Humiliating. That's a flub that's just gonna go down in history. Do you even know his name now? Yes, I met Crater at the All-Star Game. You met Chance. You Chance, met Chance. sorry. Dad. Who is Crater? He looks like a Crater. I think you mean meteorite or he looks like the thing, but he certainly doesn't look like a Crater because that's just a hole. Better luck next time. Better luck this time. Jeff, hopefully you don't make a flub like that in your Bar Down quiz debut. Here's your first quiz puck. Thanks very much. My name is Jeff. Yeah, so you got out first last time, and um, I'm pretty sure you're well aware what that comes with. A punishment. So, hold that up to the camera. Yager used to have peanut butter, and as you can tell from the picture on there, it wasn't recently. What's the date on that say? 03-13-98. <laughs> A bug's life. 1998. Get to eating the peanut butter. <laughs> One, two, three, shoe nice. It, it, it's like not even peanut butter anymore. All right, eat it. Oh. There you go. It's still smooth. Let us know if it's crunchy. What did it taste like? Like imagine going into like a really old warehouse and like seeing like in like an old machine that has like a lot of rust on it and like literally just licking the rust. All right, well, you know how this works. Even if Jesse didn't last time, we got 10 questions. In the middle, we got that bonus round. If you get that bonus round right, it's like a free strike. That's right, one strike to go along with the system that Luca has dubbed the very best and only system, the one strike system. Why? Luca, look at what you've done. I'm not thanking Luca for that one. Three strikes is coming back. I don't care what I have to do to get it back. You already had your chance and you didn't do it. You're all talk, buddy. The guy pretends like he wants three strikes. He doesn't want three strikes. He doesn't want three strikes. First team all talk. <laughs> First team all talk. <laughs> Today's lifeline, as it is most of the time, true or false? Wow, wow, what a surprise. <laughs> you know we're here for a quiz, but you don't know the topic. Today's topic is retired NHL jersey numbers. Okay, okay, I'm messed with it. So this is the final topic of the ones we chose before the season started. Looking forward to it. The Canadians, the They've retired a lot of jerseys. A lot numbers. of jerseys, but I'm not gonna get cocky about this. I'm feeling rusty. It's been a while since I've been on this couch. All right, without further ado, let's get things started. As uh, you are all very aware, I usually start off my quizzes with a certain two words. I don't think I've really earned it this time. I need to get a little more professional here, a little more serious. So I'm going to say, let us go. Are you for real? I don't, I don't have to take my headphones off? I said, let us go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's go. Yes. Let us go. Yes, that's good. Yes, let's let go. us go. Question number one. What is the only number that has been retired league-wide? Crater? <laughs> <laughs> it's 99, of course, the great one. Wayne Gretzky, it's 99. 99, Wayne Gretzky. I know they thought about doing Gretzky's, but I think in the end it was Crater. <laughs> As soon as you said retired numbers, I literally had the thought to myself, if the first answer isn't Wayne Gretzky, that would be the most surprising thing in these quizzes. Uh, 99. That is correct. Other than Jackie Robinson's 42, Wayne Gretzky is the only athlete to have his number retired across an entire league, at least in the major sports. Retired across the league. I don't even get why. <laughs> well, we're gonna move on, because we don't need to hear why you think it, because we know why you think it. Why? I press why, Gretzky. Question number two. Traditionally, when a franchise retires a jersey number, Number, it's to honor a player. But back in 2000, a team retired the number one to honor their fans. Which team was it? Oh no, come on. Man, that is such a hard question. <laughs> I remember this because this was pretty lame. It's the team I like to call the most boring team in hockey. So I'm pretty sure it was the Minnesota Wild. The Minnesota Wild. This is the Minnesota Wild. The Minnesota Wild. Is it the... Minnesota Wild? You're the luckiest person. I don't know where you pulled that out of. I know like they're the state of hockey now and everything, but like, I mean, keep your team and then maybe <laughs> throw a number in the Raptors. They stuck around though. A little bit preemptive. What if your fans suck? Every team pretty much thinks that they have the number one fans. And like, we all know the Habs do, so it's just kind of, why are we fighting? I'm not kidding. That was probably the luckiest guess I've had in the quiz. <laughs> I am not even kidding. And you've had some doozies. All right, moving on to question three. Who is is the only player in the top 10 in career points that hasn't had their jersey number retired by a single NHL franchise. Oh, 
Oh, I know who it is. Good player, but has it had their number retired by a single team they played for? Does that clapping mean that you know, or is that a thinking clap? That's my thinking clap. It's my stalling clap. Oh, it's a little trickery, because he's just left and is kind of still playing. <laughs> I imagine that would be Yarmir Yager. Yarmir Yager. Yarmir Yager. Yager. I think Yarmir Yager. I don't think he's been, I don't think his number's retired yet. Well, you're clearly familiar with his brand, and you're correct. What would I do without this guy? Some people in this quiz know Yager a little bit better, because they've been eating his expired products. Ew! <laughs> no one asked you to do that. That's a bad idea. All right, moving on to question four. My favorite question is, you know it. True or false? Yay. No one's cheering, only you're cheering. Here we go, baby. Question four. True or false? The Montreal Canadiens have retired more jersey numbers than the New York Yankees. True or false? Now you have two historical franchises who absolutely love to retire numbers. That's actually really hard. That is an absolute crapshoot. You know, true or false is already difficult, and then you just throw baseball in there. You can bring that with Luke and his UP question. I don't know much about baseball. I'm gonna start with that. I, no. This is like an instantaneous answer. The Yankees, just, they're, like, they almost don't have single digits left. I have no idea. I could be out right now. <laughs> I don't know much about baseball other than the Yankees have been very good for a very, very long time. I feel like baseball has been been around longer than hockey, and the Yankees have been around longer than the Canadians. I could be getting this wrong and looking like a total idiot right now, but that wouldn't be the first time. Guy beat me to it. <laughs> false. 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 Well, it's true that you're moving on to the next question. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't gonna react. I thought you might be doing that. Celebrate! Relief right there. Yeah, the, uh, the Canadians retired the most numbers uh, out of any franchise in the NHL. Yeah, we've got Plant, Bellevue, Richard. We've got a few of them hanging up there. All right, well, we're moving on to question five. Question number five. Although this player racked up over 500 goals in his career, his jersey number has not been officially retired by any team. However, he is the only player in NHL history to have his jersey number honored by two separate teams. Which player is it? There's a difference between retiring and honoring. Retired means you can't wear it. Honoring just means that, you know, it's not official. Someone could technically still wear it. There are plenty of players that have their number retired by two teams, but this player, neither team retired the number, they just honored it. I think I know what it is. Okay, who has scored over 500 goals? There are a lot of players. <laughs> Way to narrow it down. Okay, I got a couple names in my head. I got like Joe Newendike. I think he's honored by the Flames, but I don't know who else he would have been. He's a Leafs legend, but I don't think they honored him. There's certain teams that I know prefer to honor. I think even the Leafs for a long time only honored. I know the Flames and the Blues were pretty weird with retiring numbers. I was in St. Louis for the All-Star game. I feel like they don't have a lot of jerseys retired, but they've had a lot of good players in their history. I know that Al McInnes is pretty good. I don't think he got 500, but I also don't have any other answer. I think I know what this is. I could be wrong, but my gut is telling me that he has two kids playing in the NHL right now and that it's Keith Kachuk. He makes sense, because he played a lot in Phoenix and St. Louis. Yeah, I'll go with him. Kachuk. Keith Kachuk. And I'm gonna go with him. Keith Kachuk. You know, you're just like Al McInnes' shot. You're quick, as in quick on getting out of here. I knew a diss was coming. You're correct, Jesse. Yes! Oh my gosh, that was scary as hell. Nice, that was pure fluka at his finest. See you later. The couch is not even warm yet. It's a little weird. I don't know why the couch didn't just, you know, retire the number. It's not like they're just absolutely packed with legends to pick from. He's like royalty for the coyotes. I'm gonna say that was probably the toughest question five we've had. That was totally a trap card. Eh, not really though. That's question six. This oh. was just a hard question. Thanks, man. Speaking of thanks, this is the time of the quiz where we get to thank people. The bonus round. Bonus round, bonus round. This is where we get the opportunity to say thank you so, so much. That's right, you watching this right now. Hey, what's up, how are you? We wanna thank you for all the support you've given us. Thank you for watching the quizzes. Thank you for liking the quizzes. Thank you for helping them get on the trending page because we don't see a ton of hockey content on there, but when you guys hit that like button, you seem to almost always get us onto that trending page. Also, a little surprise for you. Um, we get to share some news with you. You know how you really liked that first road trip video? Well, we did a second one. Let's go! You deserve that one, Lucas. Shout out Enterprise. They sent us to the lovely province of Alberta with a very special guest. A very special guest. It was awesome. Road trips with friends. 
so much fun, especially when it involves hockey. Didn't make it to the bonus round, but I did make it to the Enterprise trip. So look out for the video because it's going to be dropping soon. All right, the bonus round. You know this works. Once I'm done reading the question, you have 30 seconds to answer. Name four players that have had their jersey number retired by two different franchises. Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Correct. Patrick Waugh. Ray Bork. Ray Bork. Messier. Mark Messier. Messier. Mark Messier. That is correct. Give me some time here. Um, yeah, I, I am giving you time. I'm giving you 30 seconds. Bobby Hull. One more, which is the dumbest one. Nah, I don't know what's dumb. The Niedermeyer. Um, um, ah, whatever. I guess he won a cup with them. Like, I, just, I just, like, he didn't play there for that long. <laughs> just what an absolute hater. I mean, you're correct, but no, it's not dumb. Red Kelly. Red Kelly. That is correct. All right, well, Jesse, you're moving on without a bonus. Listen, I don't do well under pressure. We all know this. <laughs> You guys got yourself some bonuses. Not too shabby. You're moving on to question six. The trap card. Kaiba! Number five is so hard. You can't make them both hard. I know. This is a tough quiz. Sucks. Oh, well. Just feed me to the dogs. Don't forget, you do have your lifeline now because you've made it past the bonus round. Question six. Excluding numbers that have been retired league-wide, which number has been individually retired by the most amount of franchises? One number in hockey has been retired by a lot of teams. But which number is it? I'm going to have to use my true or false. I got to let the hair down. It's definitely a single digit. I don't think it's a high number. True or false? The number is nine. I think I'm going to go... Nine. Nine? I'm going with number nine, Gordy Howe, Mr. Hockey. I'm gonna go ahead and say true. Yeah, you're correct. Ah. Ah. Man, you're really messing with me here. <laughs> it is number nine. That is the most retired number across the NHL. Wow. I'm moving on. You still have your strike and you still have your bonus. Now I'm feeling hyped up and you're just going to hit me with the second trap card. <laughs> yeah, this question's pretty hard. Question number seven. Although Mario Lemieux's number 66 is not retired league-wide, Josh Hosang was criticized for wearing the number in his rookie season, prompting Super Mario to say, I'm fine with it and... It's just a number. <laughs> but Hosang isn't the only rookie who chose to wear number 66 since Lemieux retired in 2006. Who was the other player? Na, 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 na. Na, 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 <laughs> Is this where we say goodbye? I know this one for sure. I've like spoken to Josh Hosang a couple times. He's like so cool and so nice. That was all so stupid. I, mean, I can't believe he chose to honor someone he looks up to. <laughs> I can't believe it. How dare you! I feel like if I hear the name with a true or false, it'll be easier for me to answer the question as opposed to wasting my strike. I guess I don't get the year that the rookie came into the league, do I? No, hell no you don't. <laughs> Did you hear it in the question, Jeff? Every time. Yeah, he doesn't know. I'm gonna use my true or false. He's elected to use his true or false, folks. The correct person is Michael Backlund. True or false? I thought this was gonna make it easier and it has not done that at all. If I hear the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a dart throw. Okay, I'm gonna guess uh, Gilbert Brule. The what? <laughs> Alex Galchenyuk. Nope, that is not it. I'm pretty sure TJ Brody wore it. I'm gonna go false. You seem so sure of yourself. I don't, are you joking or? Do I ever joke back here? Yes, all the time. I do joke and yeah, you are correct. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> Whoa, oh, yes. The answer was TJ Brody. Come on, that guy's a squid. God, he just back there on that blue line playing solid D, he just thinks he's the greatest. Who do you think you are? I am. I am. I am. I am. The only thing that's going on is the rest of us as we move on to the next question. Without Jesse. No! Question eight, and you still got your bonus. Question eight, name each of the four teams that have not retired a single jersey number. Now, that means that I'm saying for a player or either if they've retired it for someone who was in their front office or their fans or anything like that. So just have not retired any jersey number. Also, some numbers are actually planned to be retired this year. They're listed in the calendar, so those teams don't count either. Process of elimination. The original six are out. Jesse's gonna love this one. I think the Jets are one of them because it's the Thrashers franchise technically. The current Jets franchise. The Jets is one. That is correct. The current okay. franchise has not done that. Gonna guess Columbus? The Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus Blue Jackets. That's gotta be one of them. That is correct. Oh, Nashville? The Nashville Predators. The Nashville Predators? 
Predators? That is correct. The legendary David Leguan has not had his number retired yet. I, that's, that's a little upsetting. The San Jose Sharks just still have all their legends playing for them right now. Obviously, they're going to have some soon. My gut keeps telling me it's the Ottawa Senators, but I feel like they retired Alfredson's number. The Sharks? I think the San Jose Sharks. Is it the San Jose Sharks? You're moving on to question nine. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! oh wow, there this guy's it is. on to question nine. Okay. How'd they not retire Owen Nolan's? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, Leafs legend. Yeah, how could you disagree with that? Yeah. Other than if you had a brain? <laughs> question nine. And I got my bonus strike, so I'm gonna make it to the final boss! Oh, I'm guaranteed going to question ten. I still have my lifeline, too. You still have your lifeline. Here we are, question nine. Which NHL player became the first athlete to ever have their number retired? by a professional sports franchise. That's right, so they're the first in NHL history and the first in professional sports history. So the NHL started this nonsense? They beat baseball, and baseball absolutely loves <laughs> talking about their history. I know he played for the Leafs. I don't remember the player. I'm so nervous, even though I think I know the answer. I'm like afraid to say it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Jeff, you can't have any fear in this room if you think you know. Okay, what? I guess probably, I don't know, Darcy Tucker? I really should be allowed to just kick people out of quizzes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Why can't this be a Colorado question? It's been like seven quizzes since the last Avalanche question. What do you mean? You said Ray Bork and Patrick Watts. It wasn't answers. specific to Colorado. Bro, I know you're going to put them in Montreal Canadiens jerseys. <laughs> He's right, I did. <laughs> Patrick Waugh. Ray Bork. Ace Bailey. Sillaps! Now, this guy All is right. going All right. to the final boss. Corwin, you're back here in the final boss. <laughs> Pretty shaky on that last one, but you made it to the final boss. Look to your left, look to your right, look down the center. It's time to fight. Press Y. I won! I tricked everyone! Yes, alright, here it is, the final boss. It's gonna be a multi-part question. As I said earlier, the Canadians, they love retiring jersey numbers. In fact, they've done it the most in the NHL. So list every retired number and the player who wore it. You have to give me the player and the number or it doesn't count. All right, I'm going to go with the ones I know. Patrick Waugh, 33. Patrick Waugh, 33. Patrick Waugh, 33. Maurice Richard, number nine. Maurice Richard, number nine. Cha-ching. Rocker Richard, number nine. I know a bunch of names. Mm, you need no names and numbers. John Beliveau, uh, Number four. Elevo, number four. Jacques Plant, number one. Jacques Plant was number one. Guy Lafleur, ten. Guy Lafleur, number ten. I just list. I'm gonna start listing off names. Henry Richard, number sixteen. Probably Saku Koivu, eleven. No, they did not. <laughs> Jean Beliveau. What's your number? Guy Lapointe was number five. Dennis Savard. What's your number? No numbers, huh? No, no numbers. I think Ken Dryden was 29. Saku Koivu retired, I know his number. I, I'm surprised by that. We lost, by the way. Doug Harvey, number two. You're retired from this quiz. <laughs> Why? Larry Robinson, number 20... Four. No. Dang, I, I, I thought they'd retire his number. You got three. I feel like that's not good. Three is an interesting number here. You wanna know why? Bar down history has just been made. You're a part of it. But I'm gonna need you to slide over to your left. No, I just wanna kiss the belt. Not this guy. Why do you have to be? <laughs> but, but Corin, before you get too comfy, make space for a third person. No. <laughs> is it Jesse? Whoa, it's <laughs> Jeff Hall. First quiz. Man, these things are easy. What's going on? <laughs> Don't you dare say that. These are hard to win. Well, guys, we're going to do this in a fun way. The people watching right now, they know who won. Luca, how many did you get? No, why do I have to start? Because you're you first on the lost. right. <laughs> because I lost. I got three. Jeff, how many did you get? Well, he's going to be the one reacting here. I got 10. What? Get out, Jeff. <laughs> No weapon way! No, I only got four. <laughs> what a gem! I want the bell! This is my first time touching this. Congratulations. Yeah. Jeff, your first quiz, your first quiz victory. Winner circle, it's all yours. Well, you know what? I actually didn't really expect this, so I didn't really plan anything. And I know that a lot of times people use this victory circle to make fun of the other guys, but you know what? I'm not gonna do that because I got a lot of love for these guys. I got a lot of love for Christian and the night crew. I got a lot of love for you, Z, even though you kind of gave me a heart attack today, but I still got a lot of love for you. Here at Bar Down, we're all just a bunch of ducks. As everybody knows, ducks fly together. I am! I am!